we present before you crucified prophets an adaptation of victor hugo's les mirables crucified prophets <laughs> Shall we start now? Yes. Wait, George Apple has not come yet. Right. Why does he turn up yet? How long we'll wait for him? He may come. We we'll start now. Wait, wait. Let us wait for some more time. No need. You come and sit here. <laughs> Christmas merriment surges everywhere. Songs, lights, carols. But, but there isn't a star in front of our house. You're a bishop, yet don't you feel happy on this day? Happiness is in our mind. We feel it. Then why do we need songs and dances to express it? Even so, what will others think of us? Can we do something to satisfy everyone? Oh, for everything you have your own lame excuses. See, for whom are these celebrations? Is it for infant Jesus who took birth in a cow shed? Maria, do you know those people who eat, drink, and celebrate? They are the keepers of black money and pastors, whom Lord Jesus whipped and drew away from the churches. Now remember our Lord say it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to attain the kingdom of God I do want to hear this lecture oh. Don't you see Mariam child Jesus does not like all this throw it away <laughs> is coming maybe george apel yeah that's right hello hi hey why have you been so late i came early because i promised i have to go soon no need of any preface what's the matter my wife is alone at home <laughs> as if we don't have any wives I have built strong and tall walls around my house and flakes of glass have been stuck on it. I locked my gate with double lock and came here. Yet fear, come and sit here. <laughs> Now we shall empty that bowl of bacon also. <laughs>
What happened, Maria? I, I saw him. Whom? A terrible convict who is released from the jail is now in the town. So what? See, there he goes. You see, I'm sure. For what do you fear like this? Why shouldn't I fear? This house doesn't have a strong door or a lock. There isn't a box to keep those silver bowls, which are very dear to you. I am sure that I haven't kept here anything which does not belong to me. If anything is here, I am sure it will be taken away by its owners. Oh, whatever I say, you take it as fun. Talk philosophy. See, that thief will come here and do whatever he likes. Oh God, I can't tolerate it. <laughs> That's because your mind is pure. I will go out and come back soon. If I find a thief, I'll bring him here. You shall get married to him and thus drive away your fear of him. Can you give me some food and a place to sleep? Welcome, welcome. Today is Christmas Eve, the day on which God sent to birth and spread the message of love. We welcome you. <laughs> been walking a long distance haven't haven't eaten anything how come this were there no wayside inns were there but but they didn't give me any food be frank speak out the truth and <laughs> you can trust us yes i think you're good to be frank, I was a prisoner. Oh, prisoner? Yes, 19 years rigorous imprisonment and, and released only today. 19 years rigorous imprisonment? Go to hell, you son of a... Please, don't say like that. Today is Christmas Eve. So what? Get out of here. Please, please give me some food. You're a tramp and we don't give food to tramps. This isn't a place for gruesome thieves! No one on this earth is born as a thief. Praise the Lord! May always be. What do you mean? I don't understand. These people, how can they live without doing theft? Damned! Do all others live because they do theft? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? How do you live? From where do you get this much money to drink and celebrate? We own factories. We have laborers and equipments. Yes! Huh. You are mere owners. You sleep in your mansions without doing any work. You wear these ornamented clothes and add luxury to your tables because others work hard for you. Therefore, you are robbers. Only robbers! What is he prattle? He humiliates us! Son, for what death were you imprisoned? I... I took away a loaf of bread from a bakery because... because I had no other way. That means you stole! Why did you try to cheat the shop owner? a window. I had no work or money. My sister's children were crying for food. Bishop, we need not tell you that one of the Ten Commandments is not to steal. However poor he may be, he shouldn't have stolen. What made him so poor? 
This is not clear. He had no work. <laughs> Why? Because these hard-working people are driven away from your factories. And in their places, machines are erected. At last, they come in front of your mansions to get some food. And you mark them as thieves. As if to witness your deeds, the law and court sets them to prison. You create hundred commandments over the ten. How does this fellow become a vision? He rejects that existing and obeyed. We should accept it. For the past two thousand years, we have been spreading the gospel of Christ in our words and deeds. Yet, his kingdom did not come on earth. While you celebrate the birthday of that messenger of God in this way, sitting around your dining tables, not many people are there who carve for at least one meal a day. And when they do not get that, they steal a loaf of bread. Look, look, he takes the thief to his house. Let's see what happens. Come, come on inside. This is your house as it's mine. Maria, we have a guest for supper. Make it delicious. We shall celebrate the birth of Christ in this way. Turn me away. For a single theft, one is marked as a convict forever. But, but here, is this real or a dream? What happened? What are you hiding? Give those to me. This, this. Give it, I say. Huh? Oh, son, you didn't have your supper until now? Only. For a loaf of bread, were you imprisoned for 19 years? Not, not only for that, five years for the loaf of bread, but, but when I was in jail, I could hear my sister's children crying for food. So. So I made four attempts to escape, and, and each time I was caught. Nineteen years. Son, you come from a place of great distress. So you deserve the love of God more than us. Sleep peacefully. Did you hear what he said? It is the thief who deserves the love of God. Yes, he corrupts the thief, wretch. The thief is laid to sleep on the bed. Says God will save him. What I doubted proved true. Exactly it happened. A leech is always a leech. And the bishop? What all he told him? He denied. Let this be a lesson for him. Oh, oh Jesus! My lord, your favorite silver spoons are not seen! The man who slept here, she's a thief. You call him thief because he stole those silver? Then how will you take your foot without the silver plates and spoons? <laughs> Is it necessary that I should eat only from the silver? 
there are many made of clay and wood if you think it's enough enough bari ab is the breakfast ready it's time for breakfast oh why do you beat him like this sorry sir is there anything stolen from your house uh, uh no so these spoons are they yours oh or these are these i gifted to him is it sorry for the burden let's go stan Why did you leave these candlesticks here? They are yours. Take them away. Ah. Take them. If I have kept here anything which belongs to you, you can take it. You can take it to the front door and not to the back door. Go peacefully. Keep quiet! It is clear that Bishop is the king of thieves. This is blasphemy. How can we bear it? We can't simply stand and stare when the peace of the world is disturbed. I also won't tolerate if the peace in the world is disturbed. Those who work hard and bear the burden are cruelly harassed here. He should not beg for food along with Christian them. These deeds which promote robbery and theft destroy our peace. Those who don't bear their cross are not worthy enough to follow me. Those who care for their lives will certainly lose it. Oh, this fellow helps the convicts and robbers. You are the real culprits because you eat without sweat on your brows. You rob the poor just like I am searching for food. Hey, come to your mansions. Oh! He is the enemy of the Christ, the priest of thieves. We should impeach him. None of them whom you are declared thief logs for others belongings. But you do. You steal and enjoy others property. Oh! This fellow accuses the court of law. Damn you! You blind torch bearers! You resemble the white washed tombs. You are the sons of those who killed the prophets. He is a traitor. The blood of those who stood for justice has fallen on this earth. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zachariah, it shall fall upon you. Crucify him! Oh, good people, what should be done with this bishop? Crucify him! Let his flesh shine on us and our children. We did it! Crucify him! Crucify him! Jerusalem Jerusalem the city that kills prophets and stones those who are sent to it how often have i decided to gather your children like a hen gathers her brood but you were not willing for you will not see me until you say blessed is the one who comes in the name of God